When it comes to large screen 25 inch e-ink monitors, there are only two choices in the industry, Dasung and Onyx. While Dasung has dabbled in e-ink monitors for three generations and have produced more than nine individual models, Onyx has just started to explore the sector. This is the Dasung Paperlike 253 Dark Knight Edition monitor. In fact, just the 25 inch monitor alone has four different models that include aluminum builds, plastic builds, and whether or not they have a glow light. And this is the Onyx Books Mira Pro 25. They only have the one model, but it features the exact same screen size and specs as the Dasung screen. This is by far the biggest size comparison we've ever done at Goody Reader. Bigger than the time we had the Guido, and bigger than the time we compared three 13.3 inches. So sit back and enjoy while we compare 50.6 inches of e-paper. Both the Dasung and the Mira Pro are 25.3 inch panels with a resolution of 3200 by 1800 and have the same aspect ratio 16 by 9. This is because they were both purchased from e-ink directly. And of course they both feature stereo speakers. But that's really where the similarities end. Under their belt, the Dasung has four different models whereas the Mira Pro is only one. A major difference between the two is that the Paperlike has a glow light option whereas Onyx does not. The Paperlike is also 1.2 kilograms lighter at 4.2 versus the Mira Pro at 5.4. For you technical people, the Dasung uses a very inconvenient and rare USB-B cable that looks like this. Whereas the Mira Pro is a little bit more user friendly when it comes to ports and common cables. The price is drastically different between the two. The cheapest Dasung is $2,150 or an additional $100 for a glow light. Whereas the Onyx is $1,800, which is a significant difference of $350 to $450. First thing we have to mention before we go any further is that the Dasung Paperlike only has three modes. Graphic mode, text mode, and video mode whereas the Onyx has four modes. Not only that, each of them have individual speed modes. However, the Dasung only has five, fast, fast plus, fast plus plus, etc. until fast four pluses. And on the Onyx, they have seven individual speed modes for each individual mode, giving them a total of 28 versus the Dasung's 15. So right now, both of these are on normal graphic mode or just normal mode, and these are as good as they're going to look. This is with the speed mode at the absolute bottom, and this is with the individual sub speed settings at setting number one. So it will not look any better than this on both devices. So on the left, obviously, there's the Dasung, and on the right, you have the Onyx. Now, the Onyx doesn't have a glow light. We'll get into that a little bit later. We already mentioned it in the chalkboard, but this is what both of them are going to look like on their normal mode when it comes to scanning around, up and down, etc. You guys can judge for yourself which one looks faster, but in the most normal mode so far, it does appear that the Onyx is a little bit more snappy and less laggy. The Dasung seems to go in stages, up and down, up and down, whereas the Onyx is a little bit more responsive and actually is more true to the PC's screen. We do have individual reviews on both of these on our YouTube channel, so we will just go to the normal mode and then we'll move over to video mode on the absolute fastest. But we're going to go check out an ebook online, Project Gutenberg. This is one of the free places we can download books and look at books that are public domain that won't infringe on anything, of course. So this is the text on both of them. You can see, again, the Dasung is a little bit more choppy, whereas the Onyx is just a little bit more fast and fluid. 
Let's look at the cover art of the world set free on both devices. You will see that the Dasung is a little bit more dark in its inherent form, whereas the Onyx is a little bit more of a lighter saturation. But we can do some things to change this, and now we're going to go into a text mode. And why we can't use Onyx's reading mode is that because Dasung doesn't have that, so there's no basis of comparison. So we're just going to set that aside and go into text mode. Text mode is supposed to show text a lot better. You'll see here on the Dasung we can scroll and the text actually looks really, really nice. You can see right here that I'm pointing at, we have the whites are very, very white with minimal if not no staining in the background and the text pops. Let's check out the Onyx side by side. You will see that the Onyx has a little bit more staining. If you look over here where I'm pointing with my mouse, you'll see the remnants of the background of the text prior to where we just refreshed. However, the text itself seems to be the exact same contrast level as the Dasung, so they are virtually identical in that regard, but it does seem that in the inherent text mode that Dasung has a little bit of a better handle on staining. There will be overlays so you guys can understand, but right now we are on fast plus 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 on the Dasung, and in fact because it is more fluid now, it has far more staining. And on the Onyx, we are on the absolute fastest speed mode, and you can see the fluidity is virtually identical, and there is just as much staining. But now, it seems the Dasung is more fluid, but the Onyx is more choppy, kind of the opposite of what we saw on the normal mode. Now both of these devices are on the fastest possible setting to play a video side by side. They will not get any faster than this. The left is on video mode and the right is on video mode with the maximum sub speed settings. Let's see how it looks. On camera and off camera, we played videos several times and to be completely honest, they don't have any major differences. As they are running the same screen for the most part, they don't have really any major drawbacks to the video experience. They were both pretty much on par with the frame rate. They're both pretty much the exact same refresh. There were really no discernible differences between the two. Most of the differences between the actual usability of the screens seems to be when one of them is in their own mode they seem to be choppy like the Onyx right now and the Dasung seems to be a little bit smoother so it does come down to basically what you are using on what mode. I will say that the Onyx has far more functionality when it comes to different modes as there are 28 of them and you can customize your own using the app, whereas the Dasung is a little bit more, I hate to say it, bare bones with a couple speed modes and some sub speed modes on there as well. But there is one important thing we have to show and that obviously is the glow light. You will see that there's just no contest when it comes to glow light availability and that's because, well, the Onyx doesn't have it. Whereas the Dasung has three individual modes. They have normal glow light, blue glow light, where they utilize more the white and blue LEDs, and warm lighting as well. Is it worth the extra $450 to get a glow light? That is up to you guys individually because it might come down to, well, I don't need it, but it might come down to it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. These two devices have more similarities than they do differences, but the differences are quite huge in both corners. The Dasung has a glow light and is a little bit lighter and gives you a choice between four models. However, the Mira is $350 to $450 cheaper 
and uses more common cables. Build quality wise, the Mira is just better. It looks nicer, it uses better colors, and it uses way nicer materials than the Dasong. So in that regard, there is no clear winner, but simply a choice between two kings of refresh rates placed right before your eyes. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.